Good morning, beautiful people. It is actually afternoon right now on a Monday morning. It is Easter Monday, and um, I'm dressed and ready to go. I'm going out with my mom, and we're going to go to Toronto Premium Outlet Mall. So it's not really an outlet mall. They have certain stores that are outlet, but majority of the stores are just regular price. But we haven't been out there in a while, so we're going to check it out, see what we can find that we can't find in regular stores. <laughs> So it's windy outside, so I have to make sure that I have on a jacket that's going to block out the wind. You know, we don't want to catch a cold. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my um, Prada crossbody bag. Um, this bodysuit from Zara. Jeans from Lulu's. And then I'm just wearing my Converse on my feet. And that is the fit for today. So when I come back, um, when I organize myself, we're going to do a cleaning in this closet. And I was thinking about doing a spring cleaning, like to take out some of my winter clothing to make space for spring. So we're going to see if we can get that done today. I also want to take these locks up. I don't like to keep um, certain hairstyles in long. It's just that I get bored and then I get demotivated and all type of things. Matter of fact, I'm not even making an any excuses if I don't want to wear a style for too long I'm just not gonna wear it and that's just how I've always been even before I did YouTube I could never keep a style in too long and that's because I do my own hair so I have the option to just do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it you know what I'm saying so enough of that chit chat we're going to head out right now I'm Okay, lovelies, this is my outfit for today. Now I'm wearing this skirt and jacket set from Shein. And my shoes are Steve Madden. And that is it, y'all. It's using my dusty, crusty mirror. Like, oh my God. So that is how we're vibing with the ponytail. And then my bag. The bag is Gucci for the bamboo pop and that is it Taking photos. Chef's photos, guys. Fire. 
we tried. Fire. We got a contact food with us, so you know. How could it not be? I mean, <laughs> how could it not? Like, how could it not? Girl. We're just here chilling. It's a cute little lobby. We're just chilling. Take a couple of photos. Digest our food. Talk a little bit. We're just, just, just chilling overall. Just chilling. I'm hot. <laughs> Tamara's hot. Tamara's burning over here. Like, it's a little bit warm. I bet you outside is cold. Yeah, it's probably that cold. Especially since it's gonna rain tomorrow. Uh, Y'all, Canada weather is something. <laughs> it is something. something. We had a whole blizzard on, on Monday. Monday. Yesterday was. It, yesterday it rained. It, it rained. And all of that yeah. snow melted. Yeah, and then it was like gloomy. And then today it was sunny. Beautiful, like. And it was nice. It was it was doing and then tomorrow it's gonna be freaking spring again with the rain. So but I guess April showers. April spring brings me flowers. Oh wow. So. Like that. Is that a, is that a real thing? Are you made out of? Oh I real thing. That's a real thing. Yes. I like that. April showers bring me flowers. I like that. So all this rain flowers. rain. Go I better away. see some 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 sunshine. Some flowers, some green grass, you know, <laughs> some, green some grass. really nice leaves on the trees. <laughs> some leaves. It's, I, I want to see everything bloom. Ooh, bloom. I want to see May bloom, bloom. You know, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a laugh. It's a laugh. It's a laugh for me though. It's the uh, laugh. <laughs> I'm gonna ask who's that. You're gonna ask who? That's you, girl. You had nothing to drink, so I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Y'all. I am home. I am tired. I got a headache. It's a lot going on. There's a whole freaking lot going on. So I had I had this thing called um hold on y'all, let me set y'all up. <laughs> let me set y'all up real quick. Ugh, Jesus have mercy. I got a headache. So, I had this drink called New York Sour, and it has bourbon in it. So, apparently, it's two shots of bourbon. Girl, y'all know I can't drink like that. I can't. So, but I like me a nice little cocktail. But it gave me a headache. Oh, oh, never drinking bourbon again. I got a nasty headache. Nasty, nasty headache with that bourbon. And then when we were leaving, um, Tamara and I, we couldn't get a freaking Uber. We couldn't get an Uber. Well, we could get an Uber, but there was a Toronto Raptors game that was going on tonight downtown. And the Uber tr prices tripled. <laughs> Triple, like, are you crazy? I'm not spending almost two hundred dollars to go home. Are you nuts? So we literally stayed in the hotel lobby, just chilling, vibing, taking pictures, just do doing a bunch of nothing, and just kikiing until the prices went down. Okay, <laughs> we sat there for like a good forty minutes. So now Simba is at the gym. I'm waiting for him to come home because I want to show him my outfit. At least he wanted to see my outfit, so I like have to sit here, even though I want to take a shower and go to bed. I gotta sit here for the next ten minutes until Simba gets home. My outfit is from She In. She In did that thing, okay? She In did that thing with this outfit. I've been wanting to wear this outfit for the longest time, but I just. The look for it just hasn't been right, and this look was right for it. I just created a little sleep ponytail. I didn't do a tutorial on it because it's just a regular sleep ponytail, right? I didn't feel like it needed a tutorial. And the edges, the edges did not move. I used the Got To Be in the yellow tube, and I sprayed some EBIN lace spray on my edges directly on there. I didn't even tie it down. I just used a blow dryer on it for a couple of seconds. 
and she is slayed and slayed. I just showed Simba my outfit. I already took off the jacket. Looking all busted for sure. He's, gym everybody myself. already told him he came, he came from the gym. Yeah, she made me leave the gym mid set to come see on the outfit. It was worth You it. told me you wanted to see me in the outfit. Okay. You, okay. you was like, how long? Like, shit, 10 minutes now. Because I wanted to change my clothes. She looked nice, you know. My baby, I look nice and clean. Made someone look nice. Simba said it's giving. It gave. Said it's giving it's giving black girl aesthetic. I miss you tonight, don't you? You miss me? Yeah, got tonight we're back there, dog. Now I'm like your favorite thing to walk out. I'm not drinking bourbon ever again. Why are you drinking my drinks, dude? This you is the second bourbon? Most I don't drink bourbon plain. Bourbon it's, it's the last New York, so it's supposed to ask him for the sweet a sweet drink, you know, I like cocktails. Mm. So um yeah, bourbon good to it had so red good. wine on top. It was it was good. It was just that the bourbon was a bit you much. You come home one day talking about tequila. No, you don't drink tequila. I was so you drinking tequila. Are drink you drinking tequila. bourbon? I try you say no more things. tequila. You stop it. No tequila. No bourbon. Mm. If it and every time I try these new things, you come home with a headache. Yeah, like Where you going on? my body not used to the child. The ponytail is still ponying after four days. Like what? Four days and she's still going strong. Today is Saturday. Um, I'm going to Henry's camera and equipment store because I want a new camera. Do I need a new camera? No, I do not. But I want a new camera. I'm trying to get the Canon M6 Mark II. And my girl Tamara put me onto that camera and I'm like, girl, them qualities be popping. So I'm going to need that camera in my life. So that's what we're going to do today. I have this Sigma lens. Um, I have two Sigma lens. This is the older one that I have. It's a 17 to, how do you say this? 17 to 50 millimeters. Is it millimeters? Or mm, whatever. And um, I'm going to see if I could trade this in because I don't use it anymore. Trade it in to get like, you know, the price reduced on the other camera because why do I have all these things? That I'm not using. I wanted to also trade my Canon. My Canon G7X. I've had this for. I think almost three years or three years. Like look at it. Why is it? Look, why does it look like this? Oh my god. So I'm going to get it cleaned up. And all that good stuff. And then I'm going to probably sell it as well. With the Canon. This part that flips up keeps breaking so the screw this is the second time the screw has um broken up like it's just dismantling all together that's why i went with the sony because i don't know what the hell was happening with that every two seconds i had to get it fixed like i had to get it tweaked so we're gonna get that fixed but first today we're gonna See if we can get that new camera. I was going to order it on Amazon, but I think Henry's have it. And if I could trade in something to get something, because we're still trying to save money. Okay. So we're going to see if that is the do. I need to come home and clean my living room. I also have my closet to clean up. I told you guys that I was going to do a spring, a spring cleaning for my closet. I don't know if that's going to happen today. I doubt it's going to happen today. But that's what the vibe is so let's head to the store okay so we just left out of the camera store and i didn't buy the new camera so apparently canon discontinued the um m6 mark ii so i'm like if they discontinue it, it doesn't make sense to get it at this point and i wanted the camera without the kit lens because i just need a body i don't need another kit lens but they don't sell them separately and the store only had the one on display so i'm like you know what just forget about it so i got different stuff so i didn't get my lens to be sold because I spent 
$600 something for these lens. And they wanted to trade it for $100. <laughs> Are you nuts? I don't even think this is a year old yet. It has no scratches, no nothing like that. It's just been used. So I'm going to sell it either on a website, try to sell it um, maybe on Instagram somewhere. Or if you got somebody on here interested, email me. Let me know. This is a Sigma... 1755 50 not 1755 mm f2.8 really good lens it's just that i got the 18 35 is it 1835 i think it's the 1835 that i got so I, I got that lens so i don't need this one anymore i don't need two so we're gonna see what to do um, he also changed the setting on this camera. I don't know if the quality looks different, the lighting looks different. I'm in the car right now, but he showed me how to use this. He's like, he showed me different videos. Like he's saying, like the Sony, this Sony vlogging camera is like one of the best vlogging cameras. And he said it was, it performed better than the M6. So as long as you know how to set it up right. So I'm gonna do some more research to properly set it up and work with what I have. You know what I'm saying? I just saved myself 1500 <laughs> in total with taxes. So I'm like, okay. I also got this mic. You know, I've been wanting a mic, especially for clothing hauls. Um, the lens that I have, it makes that clicking sound when it's auto-focusing, especially when I'm doing makeup tutorials. And um, I didn't want the wired mic either because it depends on how far I'm going to be away in try on hauls, I can't stick it on my clothes with the wire and then the the microphone on top it's just picking up all the sounds from the lens. So I got this and um it's wireless. He showed me different ways to use it. So I'm gonna do some more research, watch some videos, and um we're gonna figure out this one together. What else? I think that's all that I got. I got a memory card. Why did it get so dark? Did it get dark or is it me? Yeah, I don't know why it got so dark. I think the camera is saying some, something about temperature. I don't know if it's... I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so I think I'm going to get the Canon 24mm lens. It's $100. Because when I go out and I want to take pictures, the Sony doesn't have a flash on it. But I'm going to research it. I might get that camera. It's a temperature too. So we're back home. Um, the camera temperature overheated or some shit like that. We're at home watching the playoffs. So the Raptors are playing the Philadelphia 76ers. So the Raptors needs to win this game in order to stay in the playoffs. Simba and I made a bet that um, he said the Raptors are going to get swept. So in order for Simba to win the bet, they have no, to no, lose. You said swept. I said they were going to seven. I, said, I didn't say they were going to win, you know. I said to seven. I said seven okay. games. And right now, I'm losing because this is game four, and the Raptors have, hasn't won anything. So if they lose, it's their oh. Simba bet. No, but your bet was that they weren't going to get swept. So I bet that they weren't going to get swept. Okay, but if them lose, if them win today, the if they win. You're a part of the bet. No. So we got wings. It's the second half. We're going to see it. Oh God. So I was just getting ready and of course I got I have to have my music when I'm getting ready when you feel the vibes. Oh gosh. Oh my nose is running. Girl, I'm hot. All that gyrating and ish. Okay, so right now um I have a video to do. We're gonna do a lookbook slash clothing haul. So it's gonna be a little bit different than my regular clothing haul, you know. Um, when I'm doing clothing hauls, I like to give first impression of the clothing 
that I'm trying on. But we're going to do a Pretty Little Thing clothing haul. And it's not going to be first impression because I've already worn like majority of the pieces that I'm going to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sit down version. You know, like how the other girlies do where they sit down, you know, describe the pieces, yada, yada, yada. Then show a clip beside themselves um in the full outfit and all of that so i think that is what i'm gonna do because some of the pieces i already put them together to create looks so i think that would be a good idea because i did a video like that where i did um lookbook what i wore on vacation so it's gonna be that style and i like that video i'm gonna record in my living room <laughs> i'm out of breath yeah. so we're gonna do the video like that so let's go downstairs i don't want to put on um my shirt is yet because i'm wearing a satin shirt oh it's dark right here i need to turn off the light Ugh. so i'm wearing a satin shirt so i don't want to put that on as yet because i don't want it to get crinkle and all of that before i actually start the video so i'm in my robe right now and this is my living room so we already have the lights set up and the camera and so i need to start out um what do i need to start out i need to make sure that i have all the clothing down here so i got my lights here i got this light on amazon it comes in a set of two so we got one light here and one light there so i don't think i want to do any more lights than this because i want to give it like a a warm hue as opposed to bright i want it to be intimate and brown and soft and then i have my camera right here so for today's video we're using the canon 90d with my sigma lens so this is a sigma 18 to 35 mm that we'll be using for today's video um so i don't know i think i'm gonna leave these on the table and that's about it so i'm gonna pick out the outfits well not pick out the outfits gather the clothing because as i said i've worn them already it's been i bought them like a month and a half ago so i just need to gather them around and then start the video so let's do that so these are all the outfits that i got from pretty little thing so i bought all of these a bunch of dresses and stuff then i got this at a pretty little thing event and this one as well and then the rest i bought myself so i didn't even count it i think that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve items some of them are double like this right here is a pan set this is also a set so I'm going to do all of those in a try on haul. Well, not try on haul, lookbook. So some of them I'm going to actually create outfits from if I haven't. I think a couple of them I haven't. Um, I reordered this blazer because um, it was only a size 10 that was left on the website when I went to get it. So I'm like, you know what? It's oversized. So it's supposed to fit cute, right? Because it's oversized. But obviously with the size 10 and it's already big, it's way too big. So I'm going to sell this and um, I'm going to sell it, I think, on my website. So by the time this vlog comes out, I hope that I've created that segment or section on my website. My website is House of Chef B. So I'm going to create a shop my closet section of the website and put clothing from my closet that I e either got the wrong size for or I worn once or whatever it may be as long as it's wearable and will be presented as new so if it's something that's not new or doesn't look new i'm not going to put it on the website so i have to make sure that you know quality check make sure it's right items because i wouldn't sell y'all some used and abused type clothing so i ordered a size six <laughs> this time around um, because of how big it is, I have a smaller upper body. It's my lower body that is um, a little wider. So I'm like, the size 6 will fit me how I want it to actually fit me. I'm praying on it. I ordered the package last night, and I did express shipping. 
So it's supposed to come here on Wednesday. So I'm not going to wait until Wednesday to do the haul because I got other things to do. So this is the outfit that I'll be wearing for the haul. It's giving luxurious pajama. <laughs> it's a set that I got from Shein about a year ago. And I just absolutely love it. I need to get it in different colors. So I need to go on the website to see what they got. Because it is one of my favorite sets. Like what? Gorgeous, 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 y'all. I want to change this light so bad. So, 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 so bad. But I really don't want to. Because just in case if, you know, like we've been having this talk about moving for some months now, but we're not sure. So I don't want to do it, pay someone to, to change it. And then have to pay someone to change it back. So I think I'm going to leave it. But I want the light to be like a white light. Because it interferes so much. I hate I hate that it's giving yellow. Especially when I do try and house in here. I hate the, ye the yellow hue to the light. So it's not like one of those lights that you can like screw this thing off. And then put um, bright light bulbs in there. Because it doesn't use bulbs. For some strange reason. It's just like some a bunch of different wiring type of thing. I don't even know how to explain the type of light fixture it is underneath there. But it can't just be changed like that. You have to actually get an electrician to change it. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to start the video. I just did a video. Ooh, the sun is shining too bright for this camera. So I just did a video on this here. And girl, I am absolutely loving it. Loving the color and the install. Look like look at that flawless install. Look at that flawless install. So right now, you guys just did a video. I am dressed. And um, I'm going to go to the mall real quick. For about an hour because what time is it? i think it's after six it's like 6 30. the mall closes closes at eight and i'm just gonna go to pick up some stuff um i need to go to walmart to get some white strips for my teeth because i ran out um what else do i need i want to go to this store this jewelry store called bittersweet that is where i get like my detailed jewelry the second one with the roman numerals the other bracelet i got from shein you know the cottier 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 <laughs> it's a dupe obviously but i'm a girl like you gotta fake it till you make it i don't think i'm i'm in the tax bracket as yet to be spending ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars on bracelets so we gonna fake it till we get there <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I'm just wearing this bodysuit from Zara. And, um, we're just gonna do something cute, casual. You know, we're going to the mall. I'm already, like, looking kind of dressed up and flying ish. So I'm like, might as well continue with the look. Okay. Um, I'm wearing these. Let me show y'all. Let me adjust. So I'm wearing these cargo, cargo pants from. I think I got them from Fashion Nova about a, like two years ago. I'm not even sure. I don't know. 
I think it's from Fashion Nova. And I'm going to be wearing my um, Jordan 1s. Um, this blue, my baby blue, my favorite blue. I'm going to wear those today. I need an anklet. That's what I need. I might get an anklet today. I want a gold plated anklet. Yeah, I bought an anklet for $400 from the flea market last year. And within two months, it broke and fell off and I lost it. So um, I'm not going to get another $400 freaking anklet. I'm just going to get a little anklet for $50 that's gold plated. And just in case if it's lost, like... I don't feel it as much like four hundred dollars a loss like that I almost cried so this is the fit cute and simple with my slippers inside and then I'm gonna wear this jacket from um where's this jacket from this jacket is from Shein I've had it in a Shein haul it's cold as hell outside for reasons I do not know I'm gonna wear my good girl my good girl perfume, you know I love this. Jacket. I should put this on last. So, did I put on deodorant? Ooh, I forgot deodorant. Okay, um, where is my... Where is my telfer? Y'all know if I'm going on an errand run, I gotta bring my telfie. I got lint on the ass. I got lint on my booty, y'all. I got a linty booty. You know, anytime I'm going on an errand run, I need my telfie Z. I feel like I wanna take pictures today. I don't know. Does this jacket go with this? I don't even think so. Mm, I don't know if I like this jacket with this. It's not, it's not, it's not doing it for me. It's a no for this jacket. So I'm gonna wear this jacket from Zara. This black jacket. Yeah, this looks more streetwear. The other one looks more like a classy type of fit. This is more street. Yeah. And what else do we need, Ja? I think I'm ready, y'all. We are ready. It is cold outside. Like Toronto weather, it doesn't know if it wanna be sunny. It wants to be cold, it wants to be rainy and humid. Like, the weather here is just ridiculous. But anyways, we are dressed. I got these Versace shades at the outlet mall that I went to. Toronto Premium Outlet. So, um, I got it, I think it was 50% off. Like, the shades were like five something, and I got them for 200 and something dollars. These are how they look. Yes, baby, yes. It needs to be wiped off. See, y'all know, I think I had a dupe. I think I had a dupe to these glasses. I did, hold on. So, this is what I say, um, you fake it till you can make it or afford it. <laughs> these are the dupes to these glasses so I got this one on Amazon for $20 and these are the real thing for 200 and something dollars well originally five something oh, girl yes come on baby come on I'm gonna still wear my dupe sometimes okay they're slightly different like the the width and overall size of the lens is different, but I still love these. Okay, they're my baby. And I have them in brown, and I have them in white. I'm going to get the white, well, in a different style for the real ones. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, 
Girl, I am fucking. <clears throat> hey y'all, this is my sister Shanice. If you don't know, she's my chauffeur for this evening. Because mm -hmm, I can drive, you know. And what? Some people can't drive at the ripe age of 27. There's <clears throat> a <laughs> ripe age. This <laughs> so girl gonna call me ripe. Mm -hmm. So we just. Who, who calling me? Simba calling me. Oh lord. Hello? Hey. Yeah, so we, we just left the mall. Um, we got some Chick-fil-A. I wasn't even supposed to have Chick-fil-A. Oh my god, girl, you're wrong name. Mm -hmm. So um Shanice pulled me out of the house. Um, she wanted me to buy her stuff. She only invites me to the mall when she wants me to get her stuff. Exactly, that's right, that's correct. She's a user. And then she makes sure that she, she's only available 30 minutes before the mall closes so that she doesn't have to get me stuff. Yep. Um, I told you I was working today. And how was I supposed to know the mall was going to close that early? Crazy, yo. So we're going to have to come back to the mall another day to get a full day. We were only there for like... Technically, we were there for an hour because we're in a Chick-fil-A line for a good minute. <laughs> like, no, but we're in the Chick-fil-A line after the mall closed. But the point is, we did it longer than that. So we have to come to well, the Well, that Chick-fil-A was busting, wasn't it? Yes, it was a nice Chick-fil-A. We have the, their new Cloudberry... Cloud, what is it called? Something. She said it was Cloudberry Sunjoy. Sunjoy. She said it would taste like fruit Fruitopia. It, it does it's not taste. Lighter. It just tastes like fresh strawberry lemonade with a lot of pulp. That's all it tastes like. But anyways, we're heading home now. It wasn't much to vlog because as we said it was like we were there for 30 minutes literally mm -hmm. so i didn't get to vlog anything i got some new jewelry well i think i just got two pieces i'm gonna show you guys when i get home and also i got a pretty little thing package that i can't wait to see what i got well i knew i knew what i got <clears throat> Not sure. but um i can't wait to see how they fit Cause I'm going out tomorrow, and I bought stuff um, to wear out tomorrow. So I hope what I got actually fit. Y'all, the lighting in this room is so bad. Like I had to make a makeshift lighting situation because who likes yellow lighting? Like I really need to get that sorted out. Anyway, so this is my package. I got six items. So we asked this before. I've been wanting a a oversized a oversized blazer, pink blazer. So I got it in a size six, and I pray that it fits. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. prayer. Let me calm down. Dear God, please, please let this fit. Please. Please, Heavenly Father, let this this blazer fit. Yes! It fits! <laughs> it fits and it fits so good! Okay! This is cute! It fits so good. This is like a perfect freaking size. This is a size 6. I'm usually a size 8. But this is perfect. 
Oh my god, yes. Finally. Now I have to figure out what hair I'm wearing tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do a curly here, but I'm liking the blonde. The blonde is giving honey. But if I'm gonna wear pink, I think I'm gonna do curly long black hair. Well, mm. Okay, so I'm so happy about this. It actually fits. So I'm definitely gonna be selling the size 10. And as I told you, I'm gonna create a um, shop my closet section on House of Chef B because you know that's the whole point of having House of Chef B. It's all me and stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, next, you have these pants, and I got them in a size. I think I got them in a size 10. Size 10. Yes, it is. Is it too big? It's so long. It fits, but it's super long. Like, look, y'all. Y'all see that? It's so long. I'm so short. But the size on here is perfect. But it is too long. Now I'm loving this top. I got it in a size 8. And I bought it just to wear with these pants. Well, not just to wear, but because of these pants, I felt like the colors would tie in so well, which they do. So it's like a satin type of wrap top with what the back is looking like. And it fits so well, and it was so easy to get into. And because of the elastic in the back, you can stretch it to wear it off the shoulder. You could wear like one side up and one side down. Or you could just wear it like so if you're not feeling the off the shoulder vibe. This top is like really freaking cute. I'm loving the, it's giving kind of like a pastel type of different shades. So you have the purple, the lilac, and then the gold, and then the dark green detail. It's just super, super cute. The sleeves are... They're here and there. Like, they're not that long, but if you wear it off the shoulder, like how it's shown on the website. Go down the shoulder. The sleeves become longer, obviously. So, this is the intended style of how it's supposed to be worn. And I am loving it. I just need these pants to be adjusted. If it was... If I had the pants in the correct... Um, length. I would wear this tomorrow for my date, but um, it's too long. I also got this cute little number right here. It's just a basic white top that ties in the front, so it doesn't actually come with buttons. So if you're like self-conscious about like deep neck, deep V tops, and all of that, this might not be the top for you because there's no button. You gotta go brave with it and yeah this is just super cute i like this it was just like a little simple buy something to have in my closet that i could interchange like i could dress this up wear it casual wear it fancy like i could do anything with it and i'm liking it with this pants next we have this top right here and this is the yellow version to the multicolor floral top that i tried on earlier and I'm loving it. So I bought this a size up. I don't know why. I bought one in size 8 and one in size 10. So this one is a size 10. And they fit slightly different. This one fits a little bit more loose. And I'm actually liking how much more loose this is. So if I wear it like how I showed you guys with the first one just like this without it being on the shoulder. Like the sleeves are still a comfortable long enough length where it's not awkwardly short. So I would think maybe a size up isn't so bad because it gives more room in it and it gives more like an oversized type of look and then i could just drop one side like this so i think i'm gonna wear it with one side dropped and it's comfortable it's so comfortable and it's not revealing anything now our final purchase is this corset top which is absolutely gorgeous 
so it doesn't have bones on the inside it feels almost like I don't know what's on the inside it's like feels like cardboard like honestly it feels like cardboard but obviously it's not I don't know what type of material they use so you know usually with corset they have the bones that make you feel so uncomfortable especially in the tummy here area like you're wearing like a waist trainer or something but it doesn't feel like that it feels so comfortable and then I don't know if it's the grace of God that is holding this thing onto me but she is not moving not moving at all I like the little pointy detail thingy magic here and just cute okay y'all so that is it for our little pretty little thing haul let me turn on back my yellow light and turn off I was using um, one of my little box lights that I keep in here but yeah I think I'm gonna have to get somebody from Task Rabbit to um change this lighting fixture it's bothering me it is not giving what I need to give um what else so I got some jewelry at on um, this store that I really like it's called um there's no name on this it's called bittersweet and the one that I go to is in um, STC Mall, Scarborough, Scarborough Shopping Center. So I got a little bracelet. Y'all, I already told y'all, I'm all, I'm all for the dupe. <laughs> okay, and the weight of this is so freaking, it's so freaking good. This is quality. I, I got this for like $58 because it's, it's sterling silver and gold plated, I think. So it will last a really long time. I like Google thick that is the quality is a giving so I'm definitely happy with that purchase so what else did I get I think I got a little necklace a little cute necklace all right this is my sister's stuff my sister got stuff I think this is her stuff yeah this is her stuff so that's all that I have for you guys today